Look from South Carolina right now where Hurricane Ian is taking aim at the state. We know at least six people are confirmed dead in Florida from that hurricane. Rescue crews across the state are working to find anyone who may be trapped in flooded or damaged buildings. Florida's governor says hundreds of people have already been rescued. CBS reporter Christian Benavides joins us live from Kissimmee, just south of Orlando this morning. How is it over there for you? It looks a little bit more tame than when we saw you last time. Good morning, Amanda. This is a retirement community near Orlando where about a hundred people had to be rescued. And in fact, we were here as the National Guard went in and got some people out of here. But there are still actually people back there inside of their homes who decided that they don't want to leave. It's not necessarily a life threatening situation, but it's more that they don't want to leave their homes. And in fact, if they don't want to do that, once the rescue crews are there, they can't leave their homes because of the flooded water right behind me. You can see that that's supposed to be a road behind that is a golf course. All of it right now underwater as we are getting a new look at the devastation out of Southwest Florida. Near Fort Myers, search and rescue teams brought residents of Sanibel and Captiva to safety and scoured the barrier islands for signs of life. They faced de devastating circumstances, you know, really unrecognizable terrain. Uh, these aircraft are flying in areas where you normally wouldn't fly. In fact, they're going into areas where we can't get at it any other way, not by boat or by land. Hurricane Ian's massive storm surge ripped away large parts of the Sanibel Causeway, cutting off access by land. Across Florida, the destruction can be seen from the air for miles around. At the storm's peak, Naples Fire and Rescue had to break the window of this car to pull a woman to safety. Throughout much of the state, people are assessing their losses and counting their blessings. I'm trying to be brave. After Ian made landfall as a Category 4 hurricane Wednesday with sustained winds of 150 miles per hour, it tore apart this Fort Myers trailer park. I literally watched my house disappear with everything in it. In this Central Florida retirement community yesterday afternoon, airboats with rescue crews were a welcome sight. You got your dad out? Yes. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. How do you feel? I feel relieved. Here in Kissimmee near Orlando, the city issued a mandatory curfew from 9 p.m. to 6 a.m. because of major flooding. In all, the county says that Ian dropped more than a foot of rain. We're going to do our best to build Florida back as quickly as possible, but we're not going to be leaving. We're At FEMA headquarters back. in Washington, Amazing President back. Biden said as soon as conditions allow, he will visit Florida and Puerto Rico, which was ravaged by Hurricane Fiona just days ago. And you can see the National Guard has just arrived once again to continue some of those rescues. Meantime, President Biden said during a FEMA briefing that this could end up being the deadliest hurricane in Florida's history. Amanda. Yeah, those numbers keep coming in and Christian, it's unbelievable to think that that is a road behind you. I was shocked when you just said that. Is there any dollar amount estimated of how much damage is caused and how much it's going to cost? I mean, according to one analysis, 60 to 70 billion dollars, which would rank it among the costliest in the U.S. Absolutely tragic what's happening over there, Christian. We appreciate